guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to do an update on the overwintering peppers. And as you see in front of me, here is Grandpa Pepper with a soda can next to it for size. I've had this guy for four years now, and he keeps on producing. It's amazing. So here we are the day after Christmas, and I have little flowers. There's enough light from my, my lamp and everything to keep him blooming, although I do pick him off. Um, I don't want him using up his strength here. Um, but since he is in the grow room, and the grow room is warmer this year, it's about 80 in here. Um, he's not in the basement with the rest of the overwintering peppers, which is at about 65. I'm considering letting him make some peppers. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think about that. I'm um, actually installing grow lights this week. Um, so the overwintering smaller peppers, younger peppers, are downstairs under the grow lights already right now, but it is cooler, so I know I don't want them to produce. But I'm putting grow lights upstairs here in this room, so I'm wondering if it's okay if I grow peppers. It's warm enough, um, he seems to be okay, super healthy, um, let me know what you think. All right, I'm going to hit pause here and we're going to go down to the basement and have a look at the rest of the peppers. Okay, here we are down in the basement. I have my Christmas present, which was a new rack for my plants and worms. Um, thank you, honey. Uh, so here's the rest of the plants. Additionally, R.I.P. Snickers the Rat, um, she did meet an end and uh, did crawl off and die and uh, created quite a stink in my house because I still haven't been able to find her. So, boo. So here's our peppers, back to the things that are living. And we don't have to worry about them being harassed anymore. But I wanted to show you, you saw Grandpa Pepper and he's four years old. Here's the next oldest pepper with the uh, soda can, not provided any compensation for that kind of soda, just happens to be what's around. Um, so there you go, that's a two-year-old two pepper. And then this, for scale, is the jalapenos I planted from seed in 2020. And here's another stand of jalapenos from 2020. These are 2019 peppers. 2019 peppers. So I really, I think I only have maybe these two. These two are maybe the peppers that are from three years ago. This one. I think this is the only one that survived from the original. Um, but they are all doing well, and we've got jalapenos, and we've got Anaheim peppers. We have salsa peppers, and I just bought these at a big box store. I don't remember which store it was. Um, no, actually, this one I got at a local um, nursery. But the rest, so all the ones that are planted in bulk are jalapenos. Grandpa Pepper, I'm not really sure what he is. Um, see, what is this? This is a giant Marconi, whatever, whatever that is. Um, they all turn out to be about the same, honestly. They're like a big horn pepper that is dark and thick uh, flesh, except for the jalapenos, which you know what a jalapeno is. So this is where they stay all winter long, and um, I've changed my policy on Watering, I used to just sparingly water, and uh, I went away for about a week, came back, and I'd lost half my peppers. So I think there is something to keeping them really well hydrated. So in case of a, a drought, vacation drought, uh, they didn't live. So these I am keeping nice and watered just in case I ever get out of Dodge. All right, they have been, as you saw in one of the other videos, they were watered with worm castings. So these all have pill bugs and um, compost worms inside there. 
and uh, I think that helps. Keeps the soil aerated and also cleans up any of the um, decaying matter that's in there from whatever may be in there. But uh, here's that's the update for day after Christmas 2020. If you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my peppers. Everybody, have a good day.